Hey everybody, just back with another video. So today I'm going to be covering something that Doug Ford said. I believe this was yesterday when he was at some sort of press conference and he said something, well, multiple things that are just really, really, really stupid. And I just wanted to cover that here. Uh, before I do get into that, guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really does help grow the channel, as well as leave your comments in the comment section as I do enjoy engaging with you guys as well. So the volume's not the greatest on this. I'm going to try to do my best, but I'll turn on the captions so that you guys can read it as well. And uh, so let's have a look at this, and then we'll talk about it after, like usual. I had some blunt words today for people living in tent encampments in our province. The cleaned up version of what he said is, get off your you-know-what and go to work. Al Sweeney is following the story and joins us with the details. Al. Matt, this was a get-a-job message from the Premier. He's also saying his government is going to challenge the court ruling that allows homeless people to camp on public land. At a news conference in Coburg about housing infrastructure and builders, the Premier issued his encampment message. Get off your ASS and start working like everyone else. It all started when the Premier was asked about a local encampment issue in Coburg. You know what the best so let me, just, let me just quickly pause that there. He's already said something stupid, right? It's like, well, just get off your ass and get a job. It's like, okay, why do you think people are homeless, Doug? Because they're just like, yeah, I just, you know, I'm perfectly fine. I just don't want to work. No, it's because they're not well, physically or mentally. Who the hell does you, do you know that's physically and mentally well who just doesn't work? The answer is nobody, because even if some of you leave it in the comment section saying, well, I know this person, I know this person who, do, who, you, know, who you know, they just don't want to work, there's something wrong with them. It's either mental health issues or drug abuse, like almost 100% of the time. That's what causes homelessness. No, just get a job. Um, stop poisoning us through our food. Stop worrying about, I mean, I understand that the LCBO having a monopoly on alcohol isn't good, but homeless, fixing this issue is important. You're not going to fix it just by saying what people have been saying for 100 years. Well, just pull, pull yourself up by the bootstraps. Some people aren't equipped with bootstraps. So there's stupid thing number one. Best way to get people uh, be able to get out of the encampments, uh, get out of homeless, get an application and drop it off one of these companies and start working. You need to. All right, sorry for the quick pause there, but that's stupid thing number two. So imagine a person who's homeless, right? They're either severely mentally ill or addicted to drugs or both. And, you know, they haven't showered. They don't have any, like, presentable clothing to wear. They just walk in wearing, you know, some, like, ripped up pants. And they haven't had a shower in a while. They haven't shaved or anything like that. Who's going to hire them? With Doug Ford. I would love to have a conversation with Doug Ford about this. Let me ask you a question, though, Doug. Maybe you'll see this video one day. Would you hire someone like that who just came off the streets, hasn't had a shower, and is dressed in, you know, raggy clothes? I have a feeling the answer is no. So what are they supposed to do? Now, again, I'm not trying to just say that, well, we need to allow homeless encampments everywhere. I understand it's bad. We need to fix the issue and make sure that people who can't work are at least taken care of at a very basic level. I'm not saying give them anything fancy. I'm not a socialist. You can't have homeless encampments and saying, well, just go get a job. Go work for 16 bucks an hour at an A&W so that you can pay you know, 1600 a month in rent. It's like, well, you can't even afford that out 40 hours. So now you're asking a very severely mentally ill person who's also severely addicted to drugs to go and work even more than what you had to do, you know, 20 years ago for a basic life. They can't work 40. How are they supposed to work 60? It doesn't make any sense. Like there's, there's people out there who need to have some hope and this is not all on Doug Ford, but saying things like that is just so unhelpful. It just doesn't make any sense. Like, of all, of, of all these years he's been a politician, that's what he can come up with? That's the best he's got? Well, just uh, get a job. Like, yeah, if they could, they would, dude. And again, even if they could, they're going to need more than just one job to support themselves. That's two stupid things already. To start working if you're healthy. It may be Ford's most outspoken statement yet in Ontario's crisis of homelessness and encampments. Bottom line, if you're unhealthy, I'll take care of you the rest of my life. Your life will take care of you. But if you're healthy, get off your ASS and start working like everyone else's. Very simple. Ford also said... 
If you're sick, I'll take care of you for the rest of my life. Okay? If they're sick, take care of them. Does he really actually think that all these people are just going, yeah, I just don't feel like working. Oh, well. No, they're sick, and you're not taking care of them. I'll give him a little bit of credit for pushing back against you know the whole liberal NDP safe supply act, safe supply, that obviously doesn't work. He pushed back on that. He doesn't want that here. Good on him. But again, just total ignorance. Every time this guy opens his mouth, especially about this issue, if you're sick, I'll take care of you for the rest of my life. They're all sick, stupid. This isn't blatantly obvious. No, no, no. Healthy people just love living on the street, not having food in the cold. Yeah, yeah. Mentally healthy people always do that. Like, what the f- We'll continue here. And he's going to challenge a court ruling in Waterloo last year that said homeless people have the right to camp on public land. They're healthy. They shouldn't be there. They should be out there working, and we will find them housing. And, you know, the courts sided, uh, sided with the other folks when Waterloo brought them to the court we're going to challenge that we're going to challenge that court case because you can't have people uh, setting up encampments in beautiful neighborhoods they just can't do it it, it destroys the, the neighborhoods ford didn't indicate how he's going to find housing for people when rents yeah because he doesn't have an answer if he did he'd already be doing it he's got a point where you know you can't have homeless encampments in you know beautiful neighborhoods that's true but just saying hey go get a job like, look, look at this apartment they're showing here. I bet a one bedroom in this building is fifteen to sixteen hundred dollars. You can't even afford a basic life anymore, even if you worked. And you're asking people who can't work already to work more. I'll take care of you if you're sick. I'll find you housing. Um. Okay, so you're you're putting your onus on this because he's blamed Trudeau for that with all these you know ridiculous policies that kind of stops people from you know building land really quickly, or building on land really quickly. But now he's saying he'll find it. Oh, really? Well, why aren't you doing it then, Doug? And home prices are sky high. The premier also had some thoughts about other issues, like environmental assessments delaying Highway 413 from north of Toronto, the focus of many protests. Let's build the damn highway. There's hundreds of thousands of people stuck in their cars, backed up from here to Timbuktu, and you're worried about a grasshopper jumping across the highway. And bicycle lanes on. Right, he's got. I got a point there, right? The, the, no, but more highways. We want to stop pollution. Well, the more people are sitting in traffic, like if it takes you a half an hour to get to work with less traffic, but an hour with more traffic, well, now your car's running for an extra half an hour. That's worse for the environment, right? So again, don't expect anything smart to come from a climate activist. Even Doug's fork can outsmart them. Let's get. I won't pause this uh, video anymore. We'll get through this and then uh, we'll wrap it up busy streets. It's an absolute disaster. It's a nightmare. In response to his encampment comments, NDP MPP Catherine Fife wrote, I'm trying to prevent a mom and her children from being evicted from a damn campsite. This guy doesn't get it. You can't work without shelter or a home. You need an address. And a social media posting from Liberal leader Bonnie Crombie says, Ford lives in an inherited mansion, fails to meet his own targets, scraps rent control now i mean again the lip the ndp lady kind of has a point right where it's like you do need an address you need a bank account to have a job you need money to have a bank account so you know there is a bit of a problem there the whole system needs to be fixed but then the, of course the liberal comes along and says well no we need rent caps no because then people aren't going to buy houses to rent anymore they do this for a profit they make a little bit of money. People get to rent for an average price or a decent price. That's what it should be. It's not. Capping rent is just okay. We'll sell our house then, and then we're anyone who's renting a house or a, you're just out of a you're out of a place, and they have no plan for that either. They don't think. But again, in this case, liberals, conservatives, and the NDP are they're all they're all joining in on their nice little circle where they're not thinking at all. And again. You know, a lot of you comment on this. You criticize me for being a neocon. How's that for a neocon? Just ripped a, a conservative politician apart. Neocon? 
But anyway, let me know what you guys think about this. This is such a frustrating thing to hear from such an ignorant asshole like Doug Ford. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I always appreciate the engagement. Also, please uh, don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps grow the channel. Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll be back shortly with a new video.